on a daily basis. I do uh, head to toe cancer, trauma, and cosmetic reconstruction. There are millions of patients who undergo cancer operations every year. One in eight women develop breast cancer here in the United States. So there are hundreds of thousands of lumpectomy, mastectomy defects, and we offer state-of-the-art reconstruction, but still, if a patient has a soft tissue defect or a bony defect, we have to borrow tissue from another part of the body, literally cut into the patient's body, take the tissue out, and then transplant it. That causes a lot of pain and suffering. I found a small lump on my left breast and a biopsy confirmed that it was cancer. And I ended up with a bilateral mastectomy. And then uh, there was a lot of angst about whether I really should do self-reconstruction. Because the recovery was going to be much longer, so there were a lot of concerns. These clinical situations have been the impetus for the research efforts that have now turned into Life Sprout, which is a name we've given to a small startup we've uh, established out of the university to develop an injectable product that will immediately set and fill in soft tissue defects in a three-dimensional fashion. So our product is really a composite where we have a hydrogel component and we have our nanofibers, these short um, fragments of this biodegradable suture-like material, which is dispersed throughout the volume. Most of the current tissue failure are hydrogel-based, but we are using the fiber as a reinforcement component to provide the mechanical strength into the hydrogel uh, matrix. And what's really innovative and exciting about it is it feels just like your body's own soft tissues yet it's still cell permeable so that the cells can grow into it. And the nanofibers also are able to mimic the design of the native tissue structure. So our tissue regenerative matrix works as a scaffold. It fills the space and as it dissolves over time, it allows the body to grow in and replace that form with the body's own tissue. Essentially what we've done, it's almost like magic. As a, a professor at Hopkins, I think our primary role has always been to, doing a first-rate research. But there is a big gap between the laboratory research and a clinical stage production. For example, it typically takes 17 years on average to take a technology from the bench all the way to clinical practice. And thanks to the support of the Lewis Tolomer Fund, the Cohen Fund, and Johns Hopkins Tech Ventures provide an expertise for this kind of translational research. My co-founders and I at LifeSprout are hoping to take our technology to clinical practice and to the market in only a few years. This is seed money allowing us to take the idea, the basic science idea, translate this to a product. And there's no limit in sort of how we can apply this um, concept that it began as an idea that we could do something better for the cancer and trauma patients than what we're doing now. Early November of 2015, I did have um, deep reconstruction. I feel very whole and very strong again, thanks to Johns Hopkins and Dr. Sachs. But yet, I think about my daughters. I'm worried that they may see cancer in their life. But if they have this product, I'm really hopeful that it's going to revolutionize care which is so exciting. What Life Sprout is allowing me to do is to become part of something much greater than myself to affect not just one, but hundreds and thousands of patients or millions of patients. And to me, you know, as I evolve as a clinician and as a researcher, I can't think of a better path to be on.